Hey YouTube, Windraiser here. Today coming to you with another Transformers review. Today I'm finally going to be looking at our favorite winged femme fatale and honorary geisha. Where I'm going to be looking at Transformers United Windblade from the uh, from the Transformers Cyberverse line. Out of, out of every iteration of Windblade I've seen in toy form, for me and my opinion, this is by far the best one we've had. Everyone's opinion may vary. This is my opinion. Everyone has their own their own favorite version of Windblade. Because there's been this, there's been the actual uh, Cyberverse Windblade. There's been the R.I.D. Windblade in both Deluxe and Legend Class. And there's also been the, uh, um, what was it, the Thrilling 30 Windblade when that character f first came about. And the old one on that one's good. It's just the transformation's very fiddly. And I didn't care for it, so I never picked it up. But I have this one, and I really do like this one. I do love the colorations on her. We have beautiful silver and gunmetal for her shins as well as her torso. We have a beautiful baby blue for the kneecaps, the wrist, and elements of her torso. We have a nice Autobot insignia right front and center. And my I don't know how well my camera is going to pick this up, even if I do it close. But I'm going to get as close as I can. And she does have some beautiful geisha face painting. Uh... On her face that she has and especially the red um, I do love her piercing blue eyes and the gold that she has on her head as well um, we do have a little accessory here we'll get that to, into that into it get into that in a minute I can talk I swear <laughs> uh, first take a good look at her and give you a full 360 she has a bit of a backpack but that's expected of a Windblade. And I do like her. Now for her posability, her head is, it's on a hinge. But it looks like it's a ball joint. Yeah, it's on a ball joint. So there's slight side to side, but it's more forward and back. She can do a full 360. Uh, the wings, they have possibility for up and down. Um, there's a little detent, or a little uh, piece right here. And if you move it off the track, this little bit, oh, you can see it. There's a little nub right here. And that nub will sit in a track in here, and there's a little uh, spot right there that that will catch into. And that's its stopping point. So, like for jet mode, it'll be like this, and go to about there. That's as far as it'll go for her robot mode. Now they do move up and down. They do. You can swing them back a bit, but not too far because of her backpack. Uh, her arms go in and out. They're on a soft detent that you can see. I don't know how well it's going to come out, but you can see those little ridges. And you can feel it when it moves. Uh, shoulder pads do move up and down, but that's more for transformation. There is arm rotation. I can do a full 360. There is upper bicep swivel. We do have a bend at the knee or at the bend at the elbow. It's not full 90 it's a little under 90 degree bend at the elbow her wrists do rotate very nicely mine are a little stiff she does have a waist rotation her legs can go forward that far sorry my fat hands are in the way forward that far they can go back uh, whoa I'll put her legs backwards show you how far they can, her waist backwards her legs can go back that far there's a stopping point because there's a little tab here on the little tab here on the back of her leg 
that stops her leg from going any further. So they will stop at that point. Her legs can go in and out. There is thigh rotation, but it only it doesn't rotate inward, it rotates outward. Sorry, it rotates outward, not in. There is a mm, about 90 degree bend at the knee. Her toes can move up and down. And there is ankle tiltage. So she's got some nice poseability on in her. Uh, her accessories are one being her traditional beautiful so turbine sword, which I do call it because it has a, a turbine here. The light that's going through that, the, the whole handle, this whole sword is clear plastic. But the blade here is painted as a purple flame, while the handle is painted in a matte black. And you can store this on her in one of two places. She has little ports here on her hips. Now you can store it and peg it onto either side. She has another accessory, that being this fan here on the back of her head. This is prominent for every Windblade figure. Oh, I can't get it off now. Ever since I put it on her head, I can't get it off. Ooh, it does come off, I swear. <laughs> Give me one moment. Okay, we got it off. <laughs> <laughs> it is tabbed on very securely. There is a slot on the back of her head right here that this little black tab tabs into, and it's on there tight. But she can take that off, and the directions do tell you for her to hold it like so. Just like that. I don't know what she's going to do with that, but yeah, okay. This comes packaged uh, in the box, wrapped in that tissue thing with her sword. So I find that to be very cool. Uh, side by side, here she is next to my other femme fatale. Um, oh my gosh, laser cycle. Sorry, her name escaped me. And here she is next to Scorpionok, who I have doing the weirdest pose of just, come on, bring it. About the same size. And here she is next to my favorite Minecraft figure, my warden. I just love the sounds he makes. <laughs> so to get into her transformation... Just take off the sword and we'll set this off to the side. So first we're gonna do is make sure we got everything nice and straight. Bring the mm, don't bring those down yet. First we're gonna come to the back. Take this piece right here, flip it all the way down. Then we're gonna come to the back here, open it up, and unpeg everything. And you're going to take the nose cone section here and extend it all the way out. So bring this out, extend it like so. Once we have that, we can bring these down. As far as they go, take her, bring that up like so, and just leave it like that for right now. Bring her shoulder pads. Put them down, and they will snap into place. Take her waist, rotate it 180. Take this little piece right here, this piece right here. Swing that all the way around. And when you do that, you're gonna fold the foot down. So you want it looking just like that. Bring it all the way, fold down the foot. And like that. Come to these panels here on the back of her leg, flip them up. That tab that sits on the back of her leg, they will peg into it like so. That's why you do that is just bring the legs back as far as you can. 
and they will peg into place. Peg your legs together, peg that tail fin together, and go ahead and take the legs on, hook them, bring them all the way forward, and there are little slots, little divots, right here in the in the just below her kneecaps, above her shin, that these little tabs on the wings, the little tabs right there, will slot into. And they will just slot down, just like so. Come to the hands, there are these pegs sitting off. Just peg her hands onto those. Make sure those wings are in place. Come to the canopy, close it up on one side, close it up on the other, and we will connect the nose cone like so. Finish it by bringing it down to where these tabs under this part of the, the fuselage will tab into her shoulders. Like so. Bring up the tail fins on the side. Come underneath here, fold out the landing gear. And last but not least, rotate the turbines to where the silver piece is facing up. And there we have Windblade in her alt mode. And I do like this alt mode. Um, for me, special opinion wise, I like how the whole back here just combines together and looks to where it hides what are supposed to be her legs. Um, the hands are a little, little visible just by the little wrist mushroom peg thing, but they are hidden. Uh, aside from the bottom, it's just a robot folded up with a plane. Um, as far as the canopy, uh, fuselage section, the, just this section here, like I understand this is where the intakes are, but it's just really massive for a jet like this. Um, the nose cone here is still movable. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. The turbines here, I forgot to mention, have a nice silver paint. So in flight, you can move them forward so she looks like that in flight. Landing, they'll be facing like so, straight up. Um, there is a molded cockpit or uh, pilot seat inside the canopy. The canopy is done in a nice translucent blue. Although my camera, for some reason, it's coming off white. That's weird. It's blue. I can guarantee you it is blue. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice vehicle mode. I do like it. Um, size by size comparison for another vehicle. The only one I really have in their alt mode is my freezer and he's in his gun mode I guess if you want and just have him sit there um, she does have five mil ports all over her there are two here on the legs she has two underneath each arm she's got two here on the wings and for some reason behind her shoulder pads she has five mil ports. So, oh, she also has five mil ports for the thrusters here in the back. Um, for her weapon, for her sword, this does incorporate into the alt mode. So basically what you do is you have to get these two pegs in between the thrusters here and there's two little ports that those will peg into. Try not to break it. So you just split the legs apart, peg those together, peg everything back into place. Make sure the wings are in place. And now she has, if I can get, let me get her in a flight. Now she has a flame thruster thing coming out from between her two thrusters. Sure. 
But yeah, I do like, like I said before, I like this version of Windblade. It is very nice. It is very cool. I do like the colors. I like the red and the black. And I like how the silver, the gunmetal silver and the blue. Um, sorry, my nose has been bothering me. Um, break up some silhouettes of the red. And I swear to God, this cockpit is blue. It's not white. <laughs> But yeah, she's a very good alt mode all around. Like, I do love this figure very much. But yeah, if you're ever going into your local Targets or Walmart and you want a new Windblade for your collection, especially for your United collection, or you want to want, you want to replace your old Windblade, pick her up. She's worth it. I'm Windraiser. This is Windblade. Catch on the next review.